Yo, what's going on YouTube? Kamsi here, and today I'm back with another tutorial. Sorry for being a bit inactive. I haven't posted a video for like five or six days, but yeah, now I'm back. I was a bit busy, but yeah. Um, in today's tutorial, I just want to show you how you can use Nebula's light strokes or flares on your backgrounds. Like if you got um, ah, uh, if you got your 3D text. I'm just going quick on my. I'm just opening my logo quick. Um, and, oh, wrong tool. Ah, uh, I'm just opening that quick, putting that in my background where it is. Wow, that was pretty awesome. I didn't drag it in there, so yeah. Um, basically just put it in there. Also, if you want to have this template, this background template with the boxes, I'll put that in my 1K GFX pack. So keep subscribing me. Also, the Nebula's light strokes and textures I will use in this tutorial or in other tutorials or in my own backgrounds or customer backgrounds, you will all get them in my 1K GFX pack. So for now, you just got your 3D text in here. Um, in this tutorial it won't look pretty good because I don't spend much time in here now I'll just want to show you that quick so first of all you need light strokes um, actually I got this I will put them all in my GFX pack also I got a few more um, I'm just using one of them like a pretty good example is that just uh, open with Adobe Photoshop CS5 and you just drag it on your background so you got it here, but now you see it just it got black background or gray background in the back, and this uh, copyright text. We just go ahead and delete that copyright text. And now what we are going to do, we select that layer and put the blending mode on screen. Just click OK and drag it under our 3D text layer. So what we have now is like this gray background of it. So we just go use the eraser tool. I will just erase that away. That looks pretty good. Um, I'll just make that quick. In your background when you're making it, just make it carefully. Uh, and I'll promise you it will look more better than this. So then just drag like behind your text. Now to change change the color of it. Just go on image adjustments, use iteration, and then you can play around with the U. Just make it like red or something like that. With the saturation, you can make it black and white or more red. I'll actually choose about 60 because this is a red I like. Just play around, it's up to you which settings you use there. So that would be that's it pretty much um, and if you got like a white light stroke like this just open it with Photoshop again um, drag and drop it in here do the same thing again put it on screen and you saw the background was completely black not gray so you, it's completely away and if you want to color this now there are two options um, just click on this uh, layer style symbol it's this round one with half black half white and uh, choose gradient map so then you got this you just make a clipping mask and put that on overlay uh, you just go ahead in here make it to red black or red and red then you got the color so that's it um, now you can drag that wherever you want it has a color red um, you can put that behind your text and yeah in the next tutorial I will show you how you can make pretty awesome 3d text or I'll just make a step-by-step -step tutorial how you can create your awesome background um, 
many people asked me how I made my background and stuff and how I'm making my backgrounds so I'll make one a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can make your backgrounds I'll start with the boxes with the styles of the boxes go on with the background with layers, styles, nebulas, light strokes, whatever um, I'll just show you the basics and then after that you start being creative you start playing around with that what I show you because if you wanna get big you need to be creative and that's the most important thing so I'll just show you that the boss pretty basic tutorial and was pretty easy to follow um, the next tutorials will be basic as well once I got all the basics or the basics you need for YouTube backgrounds then I'll show you off maybe some advanced stuff but you need to be creative that's nearly the only thing uh, learning the program is one thing but that comes with the time but the most important thing for a graphic designer is being important you can know the program like you got it for 10 years but you're not creative then you're only doing the same thing and same thing so you need to be creative just uh, that's the important thing so yeah um, I'm Kamsi and I'm out peace